is a suspenseful thriller that came out straight to Netflix. Now, usually with Netflix movies, I don't usually review those or see those, but this movie had my interest because it's from the director, Mike Flanagan, the director behind Oculus, the upcoming Before I Wake and Ouija Origin of Evil. And this movie is about a girl who is an author who also happens to be mute and deaf. She cannot hear, she cannot speak, so she's just living life in her house all alone. And life is all right for her, she's getting by, but one night everything goes haywire when a serial killer in a mask shows up and pretty much starts to mess with her and a really insane game of cat and mouse ensues. Now, as I mentioned in my intro, Netflix releases, usually I don't really like to touch on those. Like the Adam Sandler movies, it would be so easy for me to just watch them and just make a rant for you on here because I'm pretty sure those movies ended up horrible. But it's a Netflix release. Technically, it doesn't count as a theatrical release, so why would I go out of my way to watch a crappy movie? But with Hush, this movie had my interest not just because of the trailer, but the director is Mike Flanagan. As I mentioned, the director of Oculus, the upcoming Before I Wake, which looks really good, and Ouija Origin of evil, which looks way better than the 2014 Ouija movie. And I gotta say, Mike Flanagan really delivered. This movie was a really, really fun, suspenseful thrill ride. Mike Flanagan directed this movie insanely well. If you remember my Darkness review, I mentioned James Wan and Mike Flanagan need to take every horror film director that made a crappy movie and teach them what it means to make a good horror film. You wonder why I said that's because of this. Mike Flanagan was really good directing this film. Every scene had me on the edge of my seat. As soon as the killer showed up. At one point, I couldn't even sit down. I had to stand up and pace around my living room because that's how anxious I felt. Great job, Mike Flanagan! And it's not one of those movies with lazy jump scares. The killer is an actual person, so he's not just going to randomly appear behind her at any point. He does freak you out, but not in a lazy way. And the killer, I don't want to spoil who plays him in case no one has looked on the IMDb cast list, but I did not expect him to be in this movie, and he was actually really good playing this guy. It's so funny how he played a character I actually liked in another suspenseful movie that came out this year, and then he shows up in this movie, and it's complete opposite from likable to really freaky. And there's really not a lot to this guy's backstory or anything like that. There's one shot of his crossbow that hints at something that he did, but really there's no real character. He's got a really freaky personality, but as far as character, he doesn't really have that. But that's not really that bad because this movie doesn't require an amazing villain that has so much trauma in his life. No, this is a suspenseful thrill ride. This is a thrill ride of a movie. You just need something that's going to freak you out and want the main hero to survive. And the actor who did it was really good at that. And Kate Siegel, who plays the main character in this movie, she was very good in this movie. Even though she doesn't talk a whole lot, she mainly just does the hand signals thing, but she actually does a really good job playing this person. And I'm so happy that Hollywood is doing more female roles where they can show that female characters don't have to be damsels in distress. They don't have to be complete and utter morons in movies. They can actually be really strong. If I had to complain about her character, it's just they hint at something in her past, but then they never really delve into it again. Like, throughout the movie, I was like, but what about this one thing? Can you just talk about that one thing again? And then the movie ended, and I was like, oh, well... Okay, I guess it really wasn't that important. This movie is not a revolutionary thriller of any kind. It's a very simple story, but that's fine, because Mike Flanagan executed it very well. It's about the craft, and Mike Flanagan did a superb job directing this suspenseful film. I was so anxious throughout the entirety of this film, and I'm going to give Hush an A-. minus. I know this movie kind of doesn't count as a theatrical release because it went straight to Netflix, but seriously, if you haven't seen Hush, I would recommend you watch it. It is so so good. But if you've already seen Hush, leave in the comments below of what you thought of it. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Jackson Fulcher. See you guys next time.